Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today we're going to do a review and unboxing of the new Square Dot from Thermoworks and tell you what this thing's all about. It's a pretty cool little device, and uh, I'll be right back and we'll show you what it is. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from Fire and Water. All right, guys, I've been a believer in the Thermoworks products for a long time. They are, uh, they've been in business for a long time. All their products are very, very accurate. They've been in business for, you know, many, many years, and they're known for the quality of their products and the durability. I have their uh, uh, Thermapen, which I use a lot. Um, it works, does everything it's supposed to. It's very accurate. Uh, very fast at reading the temperatures. I uh, have their thermo pop. I use this as well. It's actually good for when I'm traveling. Stick it in your pocket, carry it around with you when you need to. Um, I just got their signals uh, system that's their wireless uh, Wi Fi and Bluetooth uh, temperature uh, probe or temperature uh, thermometer. And uh, if you use it with the Billows fan, it's a uh, temperature controller for a smoker, and that's what I'm going to use that for. I've got some other Thermoworks products in there that I've had that I love. But this square dot system that they just coming out with is something we're going to talk about today. Now, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Thermoworks program, uh, products. They have had something called a dot for a while now, and it's usually just it's, it's a little round thermometer, digital thermometer, with one probe insert. They have it uh, in a uh, regular analog, and they have it in a um, Bluetooth version, so you can use it with an app with your phone. But today, they're releasing the square dot, and not just uh, the shape is different on this, but they also, you can have two probes in this one, where the other one is just one probe. One of the main things they added for this product is the bottom probe here can actually do an average of the air temperature in your oven or cooker. So what you normally do on this particular one is the top uh, top monitor is going to be for your food probe. So if you're cooking a roast or you know brisket, pork butt, whatever, if you're cooking something that you need a exact doneness of cooking, you're going to use your top port for that probe. And then your bottom probe is going to be for your cooker, your oven, what have you, and you're going to monitor the temperature of your uh, cooking device. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up. So it comes with professional probes. This isn't the needle probe. This is a regular, um, regular professional food probe. And I'm going to put that in the top slot here. Um, and then it comes with a cooking temperature probe or your cooking device probe which uh, pretty much just goes on your grill grate in your oven what have you you put it on this little stand and connect it to the uh, grate and it'll measure the temperature of the air in your cooking device so I'm gonna put this over here get it out of my way so let's go over what this thing is so first of all to turn it on uh, you just hit the uh, light button here in the back and you hold it down and it pops it on pops right on so this has an alarm for each channel so this top channel you can change the alarm it's real easy the arrow buttons here uh, up and down that's all it does it just changes the temperature that you want your alarm to go off so if you're wanting to change it to like 150 to 160 degrees right there 160 as soon as this probe hits 160 degrees the alarm's going to go off now your bottom probe we're going to plug in like I said, this is to measure your oven temperature, your smoker temperature, your grill temperature, whatever you're cooking in. You want to measure the temperature with the bottom one. This also has the same alarm. You can put an alarm on there. So if you're wanting to cook at 350 or what have you, you just turn it up to 350 and that's going to have an alarm. So as soon as these probes hit that particular temperature that you picked, they're going to go off. Now. What you can do with the bottom one that's measuring the, the temperature of your smoker or your oven 
there's a button on the back that says average, AVG. And what you do with that is you hold that button down for three seconds and you're going to see a little A pop up here. Let me show you. You see a little A pop up right there. And that's telling me it's going to average out the temperature of the uh, oven or the grill. So it's going to take the temperature every few minutes and it's going to average it out. So within your cooking, your oven, your smoker, whatever you're cooking in, the air temperature is not consistent. No matter what you do, your oven, you may set your oven to 350 to 350 degrees. It's going to fluctuate all up and down, all in between, but your oven's never going to tell you that. What this will do is actually tell you what the real average temperature is of your oven or your smoker. So you can actually uh, try to adjust your temperature of your oven or your smoker to kind of match what you're actually looking for. So if you really want to cook at a real 350 average, it might be at 325. It might be at 375 because of the way that the air moves around your cooker. So that's what that's going to do. And it's going to, after 15 minutes in the oven, it's going to actually take the average of the temperatures and that's what's going to display here and that's what it's going to monitor for your alarm so actually a pretty neat uh, little feature here and once you get your square dot it's going to tell you pretty much everything about that um, like i said this will take all of thermalworks's uh, professional probes it comes with those two that i mentioned a regular food probe and a regular oven or smoker probe but you can actually get the needle probes and all the other different professional probes that Thermalworks sells. Um, so what this will let, able you to do is kind of like calibrate your oven to uh, the temperatures that you really want to cook at. So if you really want to cook at 350, this is going to give you that average temperature. So if it's averaging at 325 when your oven is set at 350, you can dial it up to 375. Maybe that's what's going to actually make the oven inside the oven 350. So pretty neat little device here, guys. You should check it out. It goes on sale on the 13th of January. This video should be coming out uh, right, right around the time that it's coming out. But um, check it out, guys. It's a cool little thermometer. It's got magnets on the back so you can stick it on anything metal. It'll stick to it. Don't stick it to the hood of your grill. You can stick it to your shelf of your grill or, or something else, but don't stick it to where the heat's going to get directly on it because this, this is plastic and it will melt. But um, very, very cool little device. All right, guys, so we're going to test this out here. Um, we're going to test out the average mode and what it tells you in uh, the space two there for your probe. That's the one that it, you can put it in the average mode and it's going to give you an average temperature over a 15 minute running time. So every 15 minutes it'll give you the running average. So we're going to start out in my Inova Precision Oven here. This is when it was actually um, after it's been in there for about 10 minutes or so. And as you can tell it's uh, pretty accurate. It's within a degree and it still hasn't calculated the 15 minute running average yet. So now it, it's actually after the 15 minute running average because the temperature was lower when it first went in the uh, in the oven so the first 15 minutes was actually kind of lower than what the uh, temperature that was set in the oven which is 150 and um, I actually let it go for another 15 minutes just to see if that would average back out and after another 15 minutes we were at 349 so within a degree of what I had set the oven for, and this is a convection oven, so it's actually pretty pretty accurate. I'm surprised the oven is as accurate as this. This is the Anova Precision oven, so the both the uh, square dot and the Anova Precision oven uh, impressed me on this one. So check it out, guys. Check it out, guys. Um, I'm gonna be playing around. I'll probably be doing some other videos with it, but I just wanted to get this out here so you guys could see it. Check it out, Thermoworks. Check out all their other products. Check out the signals uh, and the billows and the smoke and all their other thermometers. Great product, great company. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.